Welcome back to your individual learning pathway. Today we are going to talk about main idea. This presentation is titled Mining for Main Idea. How do we figure out what the main idea of a text is as we read? Our learning target for today. We want you to be able to say, I can identify the main or central idea of a text and tell the difference between the topic and the main idea because those are two very different things and it's a really important skill to be able to differentiate between the two. So before we go any further, let's make sure we understand those two terms. What is the topic? The definition we're going to use is, the topic is the general subject the text is about. It can usually be described in just one to two words. So if you're reading an article and somebody asks you what that article is about, and you say, oh, earthquakes. That's the topic, not the main idea. So what is the main idea? Here's our definition. The main idea is the central concept or claim the author is trying to make. It requires a complete sentence to convey. So the main idea is a full, complete thought. So instead of saying, oh, this article is about earthquakes, I might say, oh, the author is trying to get me to understand that earthquakes can be really dangerous for communities that live along fault lines. It's a much more specific answer. There are three questions that can help you on your quest to figure out what the main idea is. This first question I feel like is going to be pretty familiar for most of you. What is the text mostly about? Um, that's a question we're, we're pretty used to asking. That will get us started on the right path. It's this second question that's probably the most important question to ask. So what does the author want me to know or understand? That gets us to the heart of the text. And then the third question is, what idea connects all of the information in the text? That question can help us out too. So let's talk about these questions individually. The first one, what is the text mostly about? This question actually really helps us identify the topic, not the main idea. Sometimes it can help us figure out the main idea, but usually it just gives us the general subject that the text is about, and that is the topic. Once we've identified that, then we can ask, what does the author want me to know or understand? This question helps us identify the claim statement, and the claim statement is the main idea. Whatever the author wants me to walk away knowing or understanding is the main idea or claim. And then the last question, what idea connects all of the information in the text? That can help us if we're stuck, if we can't figure out what the author wants us to know or understand. Um, and it can also help us check to make sure that we've correctly identified the main idea. So if I have identified the main idea as earthquakes can be really dangerous for communities that live along fault lines, I can go back and make sure that all of the information that the author has chosen to include connects back to that idea then I know that I've correctly identified main idea. So let's talk general tips. Some specific things we can do to help us as we read. We can look at titles, topic sentences, and repeated phrases. Consider the title. This usually gives you a clue about what the text will focus on. Topic sentences are the best place to look. Look for topic sentences that convey the main idea. They're usually the first or second sentence in single paragraphs. And then last but not least, repeated phrases. If you're struggling, one thing you can look for is a word or a phrase that repeats over and over again. This will help you figure out what the author's focus is. Now let's talk tips for longer texts because it can be a little bit easier to figure out main idea of a single paragraph and a little bit more challenging to figure out the main idea of a longer text like an article. Um, so let's talk about specific things we can do to help us as we read longer texts that have a lot more information in them. Tips for longer texts include looking at introductions, 
conclusions, and chunks. So analyze the first paragraph. This is usually where you'll find a topic sentence or a claim statement. And like I said on the previous slide, if you can identify a topic sentence or a claim statement, you have found the main idea. You can also look at the conclusion, the last paragraph. Um, the main statement or the, the claim is usually emphasized or repeated there. The other tip we have is to chunk the text, split it into smaller sections. Once you have an article split into, say, three chunks or three paragraphs, you can look at each chunk individually, figure out the main idea of each chunk or paragraph, and then those will add up to the overall main idea. So let's review. How do we go from topic to main idea? So first, we obviously have to identify the topic. Ask yourself what the text is mostly about and identify the general subject. Then note what the author thinks about it. Ask yourself what they want you to know and note how they feel. Then take that information and write a, a sentence or make a statement. Remember, the main idea needs to be conveyed in a complete sentence. So take the topic and state what you should know about it. In nonfiction texts, the author wants to make their point clear. They will tell you what they want you to know. You just have to read closely. Okay, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to reach out to one of your teachers if you need more help.